Hi, uh, my name is Melanie. I'm the owner of Carte Blanche. So today what I wanted to do is show you how simple it is to paint uh, your furniture using any Sloan chalk paint. And to do that, I picked uh, this wonderful chair that needs a little pick-me-up. Um, it's a varnished wooden chair. So I picked a color as well that we're going to use is Svenska Blue, um, a nice greeny kind of blue to go with the upholstered part of the chair. So I'm just going to remove that and simply start painting. Um, the fantastic thing with any Sloan paint is that you don't need to prime or sand before you start painting. You can get straight to the painting part. So I'm going to use Annie's Natural Bristle Brush. Um, this helps me to paint really quickly, which is great, um, and it covers the surface really well too. So all I need to do is go ahead and start painting. So this paint is not fussy at all. You kind of just slap it onto the surface, really. Um, I'm not fussy with my brush strokes. The paint lends itself really well to whatever type of brush strokes you like. So if you like something a bit more traditional, linear like that, you can do that. Or you can even do a little bit of crisscross, a bit more texture in the paint is really nice too. So I'll get a first coat on there, let it dry, it dries super quickly. It'll be dry in maybe 20-30 minutes. Um, and if I need a second coat, I can do that right away. I don't need to wait the next day. Um, so I can get my project done super quick and have it back in place by the end of the day, which is awesome. So we have that first coat uh, of Svenska Blue onto the chair. Um, it was quite a dark surface to start with, so what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and put on a second coat. Depending on your project and the look you're going for, you might just decide you need only one coat of paint, which is great. Um, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat uh, of paint. And that dried pretty quick, it dried in about 20 minutes, um, so it means that we can get done pretty fast. So the painting's all done. Um, as soon as the paint is dry, you can basically wax your piece um, when it's dry to the touch. So the wax uh, has two purposes. It's the protection on your paint, um, but it also makes the color come alive. Um, so it's one of my favorite parts to do. And this one we're just gonna do clear wax, just so you can see how to apply the wax. I am going to be using an Annie Sloan wax brush. It's a pure bristle um, brush, which is kind of the best to use to help you push the wax into the paint. It makes it a whole lot easier. Um, and another thing that you need are lint-free cloths. So blue Scott shop towels work really well for that. We're going to use that just because you don't want it feeling greasy or tacky when you're done. So basically to put my wax on, I put a little bit aside on a paper just because I don't want color from the paint to go into my clear wax tin. So that's usually what I would do. And when I load up my wax brush, I just kind of push the wax into the bristles of the brush. I don't need a big chunk, but I do want to have the brush full of wax. And then I apply it uh, to my surface one section at a time. So I would work the wax really well into the paint using the brush. And after I do a whole section, make sure that it's into all the texture of the paint. Then I just follow up with my cloth and make sure that there's no greasy or tacky residue. So I would do this to my whole piece. That'll really protect the finish, protect the paint. 
Um, if ever it's something that has a lot of traffic, you could do two coats of wax. You would just wait one day between coats. Um, and the finish is food grade. It's totally safe, which is fantastic. So it can go in your kids' rooms as well. Um, and yeah, it's pretty hard wearing. It has a curing time of five to 20 days, um, but you can start using it right away, which is pretty great. So I'll get all of this uh, done and waxed and it'll be ready to go back in place on um, the same day basically.